And the thing that what it does is that this crown, this black crown, that we built it, but it can move up and down. So just like human a child as it grows, the eyes move up and they can always see the world top down. In the same way, it can already see the top down, but as the robot scales, we can just make it higher and higher and it just works. So entire foundational stack on perception is done. So what you're telling me is we can look forward to Maddox growing a beard, going through <laughs> puberty, doing all of that. <laughs> puberty for sure, because I'm sure robots will make their own drama and, and make own mistakes and create a mess as it kind of grows. Uh, so that's definitely part of it. And then uh, we, uh, there is an element of also that if robot belong, comes to your home, you want something that belongs inside your home. So we don't think of it as a pet or we don't think of it as a human being, but we do think of it as a robot that has its own personality, has its own quirks. So can we add that along the way as well? So it becomes a sort of part of your family and a lovable robot, not just something that is utility and an appliance. Of course, the logical thing to do is build more robots to do more tasks around the house. So in the future, maybe there will be a Matic robot with arms that can clean up your clothes, or maybe one that will cook for you. For now though, I'm just happy to have my own pet Wally around the house vacuuming up after me and my other pet while I look forward to what Medic comes up with next.